Today we're going to move through a practice of yoga and strength. So grab your mat and let's get started. We're going to talk about some self-care techniques today. I'm going to start with what's called body tapping. So take your hands, make two fists and tap, tap. Start with just bending your knees a little bit just to loosen up your body. So body tapping is an ancient old practice to help move stagnant energy in your body. So now you're going to tap along your arm. Tap your hand. Keep bending those knees. So you're going with the, the beat of the music. Good. So this self-tap is just a wonderful way to kind of let go of any negative energy or tension, stress. Maybe something's just happened and you want to kind of like clear it out. Great way to clear things out, body tapping. Back to the chest. And now we're moving to the hips. Keep bending those knees. So we're gonna use this as part of our wellness challenge. So today I want you to think about if there's something that stresses you out, you're feeling low energy, you just had a negative conversation with someone, I want you to just do this routine. You're gonna go down your legs, right into your calves, right into your thighs. It's really great to put on some music that you like and tap to it. Right into your glutes and into your lower back. And right onto your belly. To your ribs. And back to your chest. Good, and then we're gonna go right up to the head. You're gonna tap with your fingers. All right, so your wellness challenge today is if something stressful happens, you can go through this little routine. A really nice way to just ground yourself. So we'll just do what's called a body sweep. Sweep your whole body down, sweep any negativity off. Just leaving the glow of your practice. Let's begin, shall we? Take your legs out nice and wide. Place your hands onto your hips. Inhale, lift your chest and look up. Exhale and fold forward. Roll your spine back up. Inhale up. And exhale, roll forward. Beautiful, again, inhale, roll up. And exhale, forward. Inhale up. And last time, exhale, roll down. All the way back up to center. And inhale, reach your arms out. Turn one toe facing towards the side of your mat. Great. From here, inhale and exhale. Warrior two. So we're going to cut through any of this challenge that we might be facing with grace, mindfulness, and breath. So it's Bend the knee, inhale, straighten the leg. Bend the knee, inhale, straighten the leg. And we got four. Straighten. Three. Great. Two. All about self-care today. That's what we're all gonna talk about, self-care. Now hold, right here. And drop your shoulders, reach through your fingers, straighten out your back leg. Think of pulling your mat in two with your feet. And from here, you're gonna inhale up. And exhale, center. Again, inhale, fix. And back to center. One last time. Inhale. And exhale, great. Now, straighten your front leg. We're coming into triangle. Inhale, exhale, and pause here. We're gonna move in and out of triangle, ready? Push down, ignite through the core, inhale, stretch up and back, and exhale, triangle. Inhale, stretch up and back, and exhale, triangle. Inhale, stretch up and back, and exhale, triangle. Inhale. And this time we're gonna pause in triangle pose. 
So let's talk about self-care. What are the things that you do on a daily basis to nourish yourself, to help you to feel calm, grounded, centered? This is the perfect thing to be doing right now, self-care. This practice, yoga, strength, breath. One more breath here. Great, use your core now and lift all the way back up to center. From here now, you're gonna inhale and stretch back and exhale, bend your front knee. Make sure you're aligning with your second toe. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Beautiful, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you have the option of staying here, a little more, a little easier. Otherwise, you're bending that front knee coming to exalted warrior. Great, now reach through the fingertips. So we're gonna set some goals today. I want you to start thinking about what are the three goals you could set for yourself for self-care? Maybe drinking more water, maybe it's drinking two liters of water a day. Maybe you don't drink enough water. Or perhaps it's cutting out refined sugar out of your diet for the next 21 days. Um, maybe you want to start to establish a two-minute meditation practice when you first wake up in the morning. So lots of different ideas for you. Inhale and slowly come back to center. Pivot your feet around and we're going to come back to that first movement. Inhale, extend, exhale and bend. Make sure you're aligning with your second toe and bend. Inhale, straighten and exhale and bend. Inhale exhale and inhale and now pause here and once again I want you to just think about what it means to be in a tough situation and move through it with grace so the first thing that I do is come to my breath and breathe it is probably the quickest and most efficient tool to get you present back to your body back to your heart center and the second thing I like to do is pause. Breathe and pause. Meaning, I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so often we say things that we don't mean when we're triggered. So important to just take that pause and really breathe. Get grounded. All right, so slowly straighten that front leg and inhale, exhale, triangle, reverse triangle. Here we go. Ready? Activate through the core and Inhale, and exhale, triangle pose. So when we get triggered, there's a little flap that opens in the brain, and we no longer make any sense, and nothing is actually very rational. So that is part of the reason I always think about when I feel like upset about something, I breathe and pause, breathe and pause. So those are part of my kind of self-care throughout the day. When I'm noticing myself being, feeling irritated, I just take a moment to breathe and I pause and maybe even take a little bit of space. So let's pause here now in triangle pose and breathe. So again, in this triangle pose, you wanna start to line up your shoulders, your hips. It's not about going down low, it's more about your alignment. So find the alignment and breathe. One of my favorite standing poses. Feels so nourishing and good for the body. Feel your fingertips move in opposite directions, your toes extend. Breathe into the four corners of the body. Now use your core and slowly cartwheel your body back up to the center. And once again, we're gonna come exalted warrior. Great, and back into, um, sorry, we're, we're keeping up into exalted warrior and bend the knee. Yep, even I make mistakes. And that's what makes me Imperfectly perfect. So inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. And again, you can either pause here or you can keep that front leg straight if you're modifying. Really reach up out of the waist, but at the same time, you're grounding your feet down into the ground. So you're rooting to rise, getting that full length of your spine 
Great. Breathe. Ah, feels so nice. One more breath. And use your core to activate all the way back to the center and take your toes and bring them out to the side into a low plie stance and lower your shoulder. Bring it center, lower the other shoulder. Bring it center and again lower. Center and lower. And center, great. And lower. Center. Lower. This time we're going to pause for a few breaths. So lower that down. Look over your opposite shoulder and just get that lovely twist. We're at the halfway mark. That went by quick. 22 minutes just flies by. Keep that rotation. Feel that lovely release. And then inhale, come back to center and let's switch sides. Look over your opposite shoulder, drop your sh other shoulder down towards the ground and breathe. Ah, deep nourishing breaths, oxygenating your blood. Your breath is the quickest way to allow yourself to become present. Beautiful, and inhale, come back to center. Great, and bring it forward and drop a little lower. Otherwise, you're coming to come down into a low malasana, okay? So just feel that stretch into the hips and breathe. Keep your spine long and lengthened. Breathe down into your hips. Ah. Your hips are saying, thank you. Opening, releasing, and letting go. Great, two more breaths. Great, and then slowly press yourself back up to center. Okay, we're gonna come into a little bit of balance now. So, um, one option is to take one foot down, okay? And you're gonna just hold that balance right here. Okay, that's one option. Otherwise, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna drop down into a lunge, and then you're gonna fly, and then you're gonna cruise. So drop down into a lunge, and then extend. Push down through your big toe. Inhale, drop down. Inhale, find that extend. Inhale, otherwise you're just holding that pause. Great. Inhale. You got two more. Last two. Watch your front knee is lined up with your second toe. And last one. Really nice, good. And then let's switch over to the other side. So again, if you're modifying, you're just gonna hold that balance right here. Push down through your big toe, reach out through the crown of the head. Otherwise, we're gonna go for eight. So again, lower your back knee and find that balance. That eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, great, lovely. Move those shoulders from side to side. We're gonna come into a little tree with eagle arms. So if you need to, feel free to use a wall. You can even put yourself right up against the wall if you need to. So shift your weight onto your one foot. Place the other foot to the inside of the thigh or down to the ankle, wherever you're able to. Squeeze your foot and your leg together. Great. Now, option one is just hands at the heart center. Squeezing in that self-care practice, that nourishing practice to fill your tank. Otherwise, you're gonna take your arms, bring one arm forward, bring the other arm under. So now we're in eagle arms. Push your leg and your foot together as you pull your elbows forward and slightly up. And breathe. Again, you can be right on a wall here if you need to, pushing down through your big toe. Great, 
Taking two more breaths. We're gonna do one more movement here. And again, you can do this against the wall if you need that support. Be kind to yourself. This is self-care day. Okay, so inhale. And if there's more, let's just finish. Thumb and index finger together again, Mudra, and just find that little side bend now. Good, find that stability. If you feel like you're gonna tip over, that's okay. Just come back in. Good, inhale and slowly back into Samasitihi and back to the center. Good, just move your hips and three times in one circle. And then other direction. And let's do the other side. Okay, so pick up your foot and place it to the ankle or inside of your thigh. Squeeze your leg and your thigh together. Place your hands at your heart center once again. Inhale, option to extend out. Bring the other arm forward. The other arm comes under. Come into eagle arm. Now push your big toe down into the ground and pull your elbows forward and up. Breathe. Point your knee out to the side. Deep, nourishing, loving breaths. Great. And inhale. And then exhale. See if you can find that little side bend. So if you look to something on the ground that's in front of you, about three feet, that's really helpful. Keeping your big toe pushing down towards the ground. Getting that lovely side stretch. Good. Again, if you topple over, blame it on the windy room. <laughs> Great, and then inhale, come back to center. And once again, exhale, come back to the center. Great, and then release. Good, take your legs out nice and wide. We do a little breathing exercise. Inhale, reach out, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, expand energy. Exhale. Inhale out. Exhale in. Last two. Positive energy in. Exhale, what no longer serves you. And now bring that positive energy in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, other hand. Inhale. Good, bring in all that goodness, all those positive goals we're gonna set today, and exhale, all the old habits out. Inhale, and exhale, last time, inhale, and exhale, great, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, and last time, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna take it all the way down towards the ground now. So slowly make your way down onto your knees. Okay, and then sitting over to one side. You can take your legs out nice and wide on your mat. Okay, you're gonna flesh out your sit bones. If you have something to sit on, that might be a good idea to get a little bit of curvature for your spine. So from here now, you're gonna come side to side. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Let's get that lovely side stretch. Great. Side to side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Inhale. Exhale. Now this time you're going to inhale center, twist, and now you're going to come over to one side. Just feel that lovely stretch. If you're able to, you can reach your opposite hand across towards the opposite um, the outside of the um, ankle. Okay, and then leaning forward just a little bit. Let your heart be guided towards and over top of your thigh. And breathe. Okay, breathing deeply, getting that lovely little bit of a twist and a, bend, and a forward bend. Now come back to center. Once again, you're gonna twist across, reach across if you can, grab hold of the ankle, and get that lovely side stretch, and breathe.
Nice deep nourishing breaths down into the low back, into the belly. And inhale, come back to center. We're gonna come walking forward now, keeping the spine nice and tall. So if there's more for you, you can start to continue to drop your chest down towards the floor, but you're not looking at rounding your back. You're gonna keep your spine extended and just find that length here and just breathe. So we're gonna start, I want you to start thinking about three goals that you wanna set yourself up for the next 21 days. So maybe it's um, bringing in more water, cutting out sugar, cutting out starch, starchy vegetables or starchy foods, cutting out deep fried foods. Three goals, so this is your challenge for today, okay? It's your wellness challenge. Um, and I'd love for you to comment in um, below and let me know what are your three goals. So like really own them and let us know what they are so we can encourage, I can encourage you, maybe other people can encourage um, each other in the group. Okay, and so um, that is your wellness challenge of the day. Your fitness challenge of the day is whenever you're feeling stuck, negative or down, you're gonna do the self tapping, okay? That's just for today. So maybe you're just doing one practice of it. And again, you don't have to put on music, music helps. You're bending your knees and you're tapping your whole body. I forgot to show you that you tap here too. This is a really nice one. In fact, we could just do a little tap here. Nice tap here in the back of your neck even. Okay, so it's a really nice practice and it'll just get rid of negative energy to get rid of like feeling tired or sluggish. Body tapping. I didn't make it up. It is, look it up. It's, a, it's an ancient practice that, you know, is, is a wonderful, and you can even do it when you're sitting. This lovely tapping down the legs, tapping the outside of the legs. Great, take your hands and place them both together. Now take your legs and feet together, and papillon, papillon your, your knees. Just let your knees just gently up and down. So guess what time it is? It is time to namaste out. <laughs> Wonderful work today. I'm so proud of you. You made it. You're doing fantastic. Day two down, check. Okay, so down below, I want you to write down what are your goals? Three smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Okay, and then the second one is do your, um, I'd love to actually see a video of you self-tapping, you know, right in the grocery store. Someone just cut you off and yeah, just self-tap yourself into goodness. <laughs> All right, thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate you and I love you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Maybe it's afternoon or maybe it's evening. Mwah. Peace in. Hmm?